All right then, so now we have a few different pages to this project. We've got our layout component as well. Now what I'd like to do is add a few different styles because currently this is looking tripe. So there's several different ways we can add styles to Gatsby projects. We can use global CSS styles, we could use CSS modules, or we could use styled components. Now we're gonna focus on two of those, global CSS for all kind of global styles, like in the header or the nav bar that's on every page, and then also CSS modules for page specific styles. So let's start with the global one because that's the easiest. What I'm gonna do inside the source folder is create a new folder, and this is gonna be called styles and then all of our CSS is going to live inside this folder. So let me create a new file called global.css. So anything to do with our layout, our navbar, or any kind of global styles for elements like headers or paragraph tags, they're all going to live inside here. Now what I'm going to do is just copy and paste a couple of things from my GitHub repo, and you can find all of those styles over here. Woohoo! Okay, so... This right here is importing a Google font. Then we do a little reset to strip out margin, padding, text decoration. We apply the font family to every element right here of this that we import and we color it white. The HTML and the body, we give a min height and then the body background is a radial gradient and it's going from a light purple to a dark purple and we say background repeat, no repeat. Paragraph tags, we give a bit of margin and a line height of 1.5 M's. So let's take a look at that so far. Now, if we save this, obviously nothing's gonna happen even if we refresh because we have these styles, but we're not using them anywhere. So how do we register these global styles? Well, we want to import them into a component which is gonna be present on every page. And that component in our case is gonna be the layout. So all I have to do is come to the top and say import and we want to import dot dot forward slash to come out of the directory into styles forward slash global dot CSS. So if I save this now and preview, this all looks a bit better. It's applying those global styles. Now there are just a few more styles I want to apply and that is to the navbar and the layout. So if we take a look in the navbar, we have this class of links right here. We're going to style these things and also in the layout, we have this class of layout right here, which we could style as well. So let's come to the global CSS and paste in these few styles. So the layout which is the thing surrounding everything. We give that a max width and a margin of zero, top and bottom, auto, left and right. That's gonna centralize everything into a central column of this width on the page. The nav we display as grid and we set it up into two columns, one on the left, one on the right, and that of equal width. We give it a margin of 40 pixels top and bottom. The links inside the nav, we display those as inline block and text align to the right, so they go all the way over to the right of the page. And then nav A, which is the links when the output, each individual one, inline block, margin left, and then padding bottom, border bottom. We have hover effects for these to color the border of these things white, and then any paragraph in the footer, we say text align center, give it a gray color, and margin 40 pixels top and bottom. So if we save this, hopefully, it's all gonna look a slight bit better. Let me just zoom out a little bit. And if we make this full screen, we can see now that everything sits in this central column, and that all looks a little bit better so far. Cool. So that's global styles, but what about CSS modules? CSS modules are a way for us to scope styles to specific components or pages. So we can create a module, apply it to a specific React component or page that we have right here, and then what's gonna happen behind the scenes is that module will be scoped to that particular component. So any classes that we have in that module or selectors defined in that module will then not apply to other components where we don't import that module. And it scopes it using random strings and identifiers that it attaches to the selectors and classes. Now that might go whew, over your head for now, but once I demonstrate this, it's gonna make more sense. So let's start by creating a new CSS module. So I'm gonna go over here inside style still, and I'm gonna create one for the home page called home, and then we say dot module dot CSS. So it has to have this dot module in it right here, otherwise it won't work as a CSS module. And then all I'm gonna do inside this is add in a few different styles, which I'm just gonna paste from my repo again. So we have a few classes here. We have a header class, 
and then we have a header h2, a header h3, and a button. Now we'll come back to those classes in a second, but first of all, what I want to do is use this CSS module in the home page over here. So how do we do that? Well, first of all, we have to import this module. And the way we do that is by saying import styles from, and then whatever the path is to that module. So in our case, double dot forward slash to come out of the pages directory, then into styles, then we want home dot module dot CSS like so. So now we're importing those. How do we apply those classes to these different things? We don't just say, for example, class name is equal to something and then apply one of those classes. That won't work. That's not the way we use modules right here. Instead, what we have to do is apply a dynamic value. So to do that, we use curly braces and then we say styles, which is this thing right here, and then dot whatever class that we want to use. So I could say header and that will apply the header class to this element. Now, in actual fact, I don't want to apply the class to this thing. I want to apply it to the section at the top. So let me paste it in right here. So now what's gonna happen is it's gonna look at the styles that we import for the header class and apply it to this thing right here. So that's this thing over here. And we say here, display as grid. We give grid template columns of one fraction each side grid gap of 40 pixels and align items to the center. And then also we can style the H2 inside that header and the H3 inside that header as well. So these selectors will affect these things over here. So if I save this file, first of all, and then save this file and take a look at the home page, you can see those styles have now been applied, but check this out. If I right click and inspect these things, then you can see if you come up to the section over here, we have this class. Now it's not just header, which is what we called the class. We have this identifier first, home module. So that's because we called it home over here, then double dash, then the class name, then double dash again, and then this random string on the end. And this is the thing that actually scopes it to this individual page component. So if we had, for example, a class of header elsewhere in the website, it wouldn't matter because it's not actually using the class name of header. It's used that random string at the end and the identifier at the start to scope that class to this component. I hope that makes sense. All right then. So let's now also add a button at the bottom of this page. So to do that, I'm gonna do a link, which we also need to import. So click on this to auto import it at the top. So we have this link and I'm gonna apply a class to this. So class name is equal to styles, which we imported right here, dot, and then we also have a class over here called BTN. So this is the class I want to apply to this particular link to make it look like a button. So I'm gonna say styles.btn to do that, and then close off that tag. Inside, I'm gonna say my portfolio projects, like so, and then also I want to say two is equal to forward slash projects like so. So if we save this and preview, that looks a lot nicer. And if I click on this, it goes to the portfolio project page. All right then, so now I'm gonna do the same thing for our portfolio page, this one over here, and that's this file. So let's create inside the styles folder a new file, and this will be called projects.module dot CSS, not modules, module. So the idea being here that for every different page, we can have a separate CSS module, just so we can put the styles for that page in the module. All right then, so let me just paste a few styles in here. We just have a single class portfolio, the selector, we text align to the center, then we target the H2 inside that selector, make it bigger and give it a margin top, and the H3 as well, make it two Ms and a font weight of 400. So very simple styles. And then if we go into this file, which is the project's component, I need to import those. So import styles from, and it's dot dot forward slash, dot dot forward slash again to come up two directories this time, outside of projects, then outside of pages. Then I wanna go into styles, and then I want the projects dot module dot CSS. All right, so all I have to do is apply that portfolio class. I think it was called portfolio. Let me take a look. Yep, I have to apply this class 
to an element inside this page. And I'm gonna do that to this div. So class name, and that is equal to styles. Remember, first of all, dot portfolio. So that was the class that we defined over here. So now if we save this, hopefully it will work. If I refresh, I don't need to refresh. In fact, it does that automatically. We can see those styles right here. And again, if I inspect this, we're gonna see a unique class name right here. It's not just portfolio, which is the class name, but we have project module in front of it and then this random string at the end. So this is the thing scoping that class to this particular component where we import the module, okay? So one more thing I want to mention, it's always a good idea to use class or ID selectors inside these modules. For example, if I was to come over here and just say H3 like this, and let me just do something explicit so we can see it, color red. Now I'm gonna save this and come over here and you see it works. So you might be thinking, well, why not? But it's not going to scope it. There's no way to scope that style to just this H3. So it might have an effect on other things as well. So if I go home, we can see right here, we get this thing red as well because it's now not scoped to the individual component. So in order for these styles to be scoped, you should use either class selectors or ID selectors generally. So let me undo all of that and I'm gonna save it. Let's make sure this has worked. Go to portfolio projects. Okay, cool. That looks a lot better. So that's styles. Next up, we're gonna see how to use static assets.